No, this guy's making another Roblox video? Well, for one thing, I figure if I cover all my bases, you guys will finally shut up about it. Because yeah, even after that big old finale that I made, I still have people talking about it. The irony is the only way to get those people attention is to make another video with Roblox in the title. Who would have thought? As for this retrospective series, think of it as me just looking through the last of these photographs as I'm burning them. So, Roblox Burnout Madness, what really is there to say about it? It's a series that copied JJ5x5's homework, shamelessly, which itself seemed to copy Pivot Master DX's homework with stick figures on crack, which itself seemed to copy Robot Chicken's homework. The way I look at it is, if you've seen Roblox Gone Crazy by JJ5x5, you've seen Roblox Burnout Madness. It's the same sporadic, spontaneous, lull random sense of humor that was popular at the time, Jokes I apparently thought so funny, I repeated in multiple episodes. And I really don't know why so many people want me to do a retrospective of this series, but here we are. I don't even know if I'll have a lot to say. I don't think I'm gonna look at every single clip, but... You and Future Me have the benefit of hindsight, so you can probably make fun of me when I turn this into a 20 or 30 minute video, right? So let's jump right into it. I am the one and only. <sighs> Yeah, I really drilled that one into your heads. I am the one and only. I'm sorry. Oh uh, yeah, downhill destruction. That totally didn't get overused as a gag either. And I slowed it down with that low bitrate chariots of fire playing because obviously this scene wasn't slow enough. Bit-crushed audio is also a recurring thing, because I didn't exactly have the know-how or the means to get higher quality back then. A high bitrate wouldn't have saved your ears from Homer Simpson shrieking ad nauseum. And there's the sound of the bomb detonation from Counter-Strike. <coughs> Physics. Working as intended. Maybe the scene would have had a modicum of humor to it if it wasn't filmed in Microsoft PowerPoint. Oh hey, we're doing this again, Chariots of Fire. Good song, I agree. I just think this song is already starting to overstay its welcome, especially with copyright being a thing. At least the series had some pretty good crashes. Oh my god, I did not edit that in. The next sketch literally starts with Chariots of Fire. Okay, to be fair, the sketch before this one was just dancing to Makaron Shakaron, but I think we're all over that gag by now. That is three times I've used the same song, the same sort of gag. Oh my... How did people find this series so funny? Well, here's a Hummer breaking up to kind of make up for that. To the idiot mobile! Yep, this is the one that started it all. Originally, this model was an SUV, but we renamed it to Super Mini for some reason. And then after this video came out, everyone who used that car kept calling it the Idiot Mobile. So, we changed it to the Idiot Mobile. If you can't beat him, join him. Okay, that was a pretty cool crash. The high-pitched clicking and sound effects are indicative of me speeding up the footage here. It would have been even slower otherwise. Would you believe me if I told you I didn't even see the video that audio was from until way after I've made Roblox Burnout Madness? Somehow, I heard it in JJ5x5's videos first. I didn't know where it was from or what was happening in the video, so it lent itself to the imagination a lot more for me. <laughs> okay. Credit where it's due, again, that was a nice little aversion of expectations. Sucks we didn't get to see the crash, though. Oh yeah, I forgot I had Django in this. He was a medium-tier, I want to say, Roblox celebrity at the time, and he was a pretty chill guy, actually. In a way, I'm almost surprised I was even able to get in contact with him. Whoa! 
I should have quit while I was ahead. So that's the first Roblox Burnout Madness. I'd tell you that the next four are pretty much the same thing over and over again, but I might as well give these a fair chance, right? Yes, Whoa, never mind. My past self seems to be trying to get me a copyright strike. I know I keep saying it, but the physics in Roblox, coupled with the wonky OG cars, really lend themselves to some pretty spectacular crashes. Mm-hmm. That NPC bus is bound and determined to go forward at all costs. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? I... How many times did... God damn it. Also, that warthog could really use some fixing. What you're looking at here is the reason we removed it. In two senses, it never made it past the testing platform up there. You're fucking kidding me, again?! Okay, let's just cut to the chase. Oh, hurry up. Tell you what, how about I just show another crash for the trouble? Okay, I guess we're doing that gag again, except the audio makes even less contextual sense this time. This is one of the best crashes. Not only is it satisfying to watch the top half of the bus get clipped off like that, but it keeps going regardless. Then Mortal Penguin comes and clips the back of it and it starts to veer off course. The body force, or whatever's keeping the bus moving, also doesn't care what direction the bus is facing, it will always go forward. If its front is pointing toward the sky, then the sky is forward. Closing thoughts on this one? Well, it's still Roblox gone crazy with cars. Maybe I improved it in the third one. Oh, well, this is new. At least I didn't open with I am the one and only again. I like how you can see the evolution of this place as we started to expand on it as the series goes on. More cars, bigger parking lot. And the explosions, just as enjoyable. And the cars, just as janky. Which leads to more comedic moments. Coupled with gags and sound effects repeating themselves ad nauseum. But you can't say no to more shit blowing up. Really, that's just the name of the game in this episode. Shit blowing up. Often without reason, because there's a dedicated blow me up button in the game. What do you even need me for? This episode speaks for itself. I was about to skip over this one until... These cars being based on the plane scripts from back in the day can lead to some wonky behavior. Wouldn't you know that apparently I found some of these clips so funny that I accidentally used them twice at the end of the video? Apparently that's a habit I'm still trying to kick because even in the Nimrod House continuation, I had a few gags and jokes that I repeated in the same video within 30 seconds of each other. I didn't even realize that until after I finished making the video, but in that case I was just on a tight deadline to get everything done before Halloween. When I was making these videos, I had more free time than I knew what to do with. It's not like I was trying to pad out the video or anything, I think I just straight up forgot. So that's Roblox Burnout Madness 3, with enough explosions to fill out about as many Michael Bay movies. <laughs> Starting with the fourth one, I like how you can see the intersection over there where the buses used to be. Dirty double crossing We got rid of them because we thought they were causing lag, but it persisted even after they were gone. Turns out, it was the music we added that was the culprit. Music that was implemented in such a roundabout way, that you had to enter a place with those songs equipped in studio mode before you could even hear them in the game itself. This was way before we had custom audio implemented in the game, and it wasn't even worth it because barely anyone used it, best I can tell, and your only choices of song were Wait and Bleed by Slipknot and What I've Done by Linkin Park. Good songs, 
but that's all you had. And all it did was lag the place. <laughs> One of the fun features we had in that game was the ability to watch other players. And what I think happened there was I used my crash breaker to blow up his car. You gotta hate when people do that to you. To the idiot mobile! Oh, this isn't where I park my car. A quick little glimpse at Sword Fight on the Highway, one of my older projects. And this time I moved up and used a little tool to actually animate me a little bit. That's almost impressive. Almost. And now we get to the part of the video that, uh... This did not age well at all, did it? For those who don't know about this guy, apparently he turned out to be a, uh, a, uh, YouTube demonetization symbol. Let's put it that way. Now, I don't know whether this happened before or after any of that happened, but he was a big deal back in the day and is probably the main reason why the video got so many views, exponentially more than any of the other entries got which only makes talking about this that much more awkward. I'm pretty sure there are other videos covering that subject, so I'll just turn it over to them. For now, let's get back to the video. A rare glimpse of the Smash Lab here, which, given its name, didn't get as much attention in the series as it probably should have. Then again, it was generally more fun to drive around in the streets down below than it was up here anyway. The Smash Lab was just a big, empty box with a couple set pieces. So you can see that while the place itself has evolved over time, the formula of the videos themselves generally stayed the same. Based on the view count, it worked well enough. But looking back on this series, there's a reason why I was hesitant about doing a retrospective about it. But, you guys wanted a retrospective, so here I am. And now it's time to cap it off with the final entry in the series. Okay, a song about suicide and blowing shit up with a gravity hammer. Maybe I should have paid attention to the lyrics or the fact that they use the instrumental version of the song in Need for Speed Most Wanted for a good reason. A little short-sighted of me, but I was a clueless teenager. What do you expect? <laughs> okay, that was pretty neat. Did you think we were done with downhill destruction? No. We need to beat this tired gag into the ground. Will the car break apart? Or what if it breaks apart? Maybe it could even break apart. Oh my god, it broke apart. And fell down the side of the mountain. How revolutionary. I know I'm truncating the hell out of this video, but really, it's just the same stuff from here on out. Cars crashing, physics spazzing out, dancing and gags in unrelated places. So I might as well just talk over this overly long gag featuring Super Mario Fan 64. A guy who was not as famous as others back in his day, but did make a bit of a name for himself when the Roblox News blog wrote a story about him using Roblox to make a video for his school project. He got an A+, by the way. Overall, I think it's telling that the game itself evolved more than the series' sense of humor ever did. It was just the same couple jokes for five episodes. We drove the cars around, we blew them up, we laughed at Roblox physics. That's about it, really. If you still play Roblox, then this series and the game itself, Need for Speed Burnout Edition, still have a place in your heart, you're probably better off spending your time playing the restored, expanded, and enhanced version made by Splattert. The same guy who fixed up the arcade and expanded on that. He's done a fantastic job on those from what I've seen. Check him out. As for Roblox Burnout Madness, there's a reason I did Random Insanity instead of more Roblox Burnout Madness. Random Insanity was a lot more flexible in its sense of humor. I wasn't restrained to using cars or using one place, for most of the skits anyway. And it worked out a lot better for it. Some of the humor obviously hasn't aged that well, but it was a lot more varied than Roblox Burnout Madness could ever hope to be. Not to mention, it was trying to at least assume its own identity rather than be another Roblox Gone Crazy clone. But I understand people have nostalgia for both series, and I can respect that. 
I'll keep the videos up for old time's sake, but as with Roblox Random Insanity, surely I've made better than this, right? Well, that's all from me for now. Now it's up to you guys to decide what I should do for my next retrospective. And hopefully it'll be more eventful than this one was. Good grief. See you soon.